Here in La Rose, Louisiana, on Chester Lee Street, residents saw floodwaters after Hurricane Ida almost up to this porch. Now, once those floodwaters receded, they saw something they've never seen before this kind of mud. We need help to scrape it out of our yards. We need help to be told where to put it. We need help to have it tested to be sure that it's actually even safe to be back here. The mud was tested by scientist Wilma Subra. She says a whole host of organisms and chemicals live in the sediment sludge. This can cause your skin to burn, your eyes to itch, and you can develop a serious cough. I did a lot of surveys after various hurricanes of the health impacts, and they always correlated back to what was in that sediment sludge and mold. Mold. It's something anyone who had water damage is dealing with. And because of it, homes are being completely gutted. So we're standing in Mr. Jade's house right now. He said two months ago they completely remodeled their home. This is the only bathroom that's left. This is what the entire home looked like before Hurricane Ida came through. Now they have ripped out everything. It is down to these plywood walls. They have saved a few pictures. That all has to come off too. Mr. Jade's telling me now that this can't even stay. That these these walls that they have standing now even have to go. That is how much Hurricane Ida has impacted and devastated families in the Rose and Southeast Louisiana. We've not seen a FEMA trailer. And look, my parents, um, elderly couple, their whole house needs to be gutted, but they're living in it, filled with mildew because there isn't other places. Many have lost everything, including a safe and dry place to live. But for the things that did stay dry, families will treasure. This is safe. So you have Just some. Get wet. I'll close. Oh, sorry. Huh? So this is the only thing you have dry. Oh, oh, look, a wedding picture made it. Oh, my God. You can head to KLFY.com to see the entire interview with scientist Wilma Subra about what is in the mud. Sylvia, she was naming all of these heavy metals and toxins, and it really is a bad situation out there. But I just want to say, so Mr. Jade, we walked through his house. He was great. He invited us in. He really wanted us to see what had happened. But it's an emotional time for people. He was choked up, didn't really want to talk on camera. It's really hard. You know, we show up with cameras, and, and we try to tell these stories, but there's so much emotion behind it all. So so I just think everybody that has invited has invited us into their homes to see what has happened because we know it, it really is hard to speak about this. Well, and as reporters, when we go out into the field and we talk with families who have experienced such tragedy, I get asked a lot, how do we keep our emotions in mm. check and put that aside when we're telling the story? And my answer is we're journalists yeah. at the end of the day. So we have to put that aside and tell the story and, and show people's emotions that there are a lot of people hurting in the yeah, area. Yeah, definitely. And if, you know, if there's any way you can help, head to KLFY.com. There's so many people doing so many good things and you can get involved.